I'm Joel Lebo. I'm a fourth year graduate student here in the McGovern Institute. I work with Tommaso Poggio and I'm interested in vision and learning and how we learn to see and how we can build computers that also learn to see. So I'm interested in visual object recognition. That's the problem of how the brain can know that this is the same pen on my, on my right here versus if I move it to my left. When I, when I change it like that, I've, I'm getting completely different pixels or if you will, different activations on my eye. And, uh, but somehow the brain knows it's the same object. It's learned that it's the same object. Now it must be learned because I didn't know about pens before I was born. And that learning process is the one that I'm studying. I build models of visual cortex guided by the constraints of the biology. Then I test them as though they were engineered computer vision systems and find out if they really can see. Because if it's really a model of visual cortex, it should be able to see. But then the next question is, does it see like a human sees? And so that's why I do experiments on, on humans. One way we study the human visual system is with a technique called magnetoencephalography, or MEG. This is a, a way to measure the really small magnetic fields produced by the, the brain while we're doing various tasks, like, in, in my case, recognizing objects. Unlike other methods, magnetoencephalography will allow us to look at how the brain represents objects on a millisecond by millisecond basis. So we're using the MEG scanner to study how humans recognize objects. So a typical experiment of mine will be, I'll have a subject sit in the scanner and images will appear and afterwards I'm going to try and decode what image they were looking at at different times. And then I'll transform the images and see if the, if the code remains the same after I've transformed them. Object recognition is an unsolved problem in computer vision right now. So one motivation of this research is to use the algorithm that the brain is using to build a better computer vision system. In the long term, I'm interested in staying in academia, uh, but I always say uh, when you ask someone at my stage about this, uh, and you ask them if they want to be a professor someday, it's kind of like asking the captain of his high school football team if he wants to go pro someday. I, I just recently started trying to learn how to play the mandolin, uh, learning to play a musical instrument. I've, I've, I've been interested in learning, I mean, obviously, and I think this is a related, a related pursuit. Um, as an adult, you rarely ever learn a new motor task or a new perceptual skill. And when you're learning to play an instrument, you're actually you're doing both at the same time. And so I can kind of like feel like this process I'm studying is happening to me as I'm learning to play this instrument.